Is it different when you perform for a technical audience? I mean, and is there a different uh, yardstick you would use if the audience is techies? And you said you perform for Google and all that. What was different no. about that? I mean, this is a question no. from um, Marcia no, Panucci. Not, not necessarily. They're still human beings. And we all have the same human emotions and feelings. But yes, again, what I would do is I would customize the content. So I would do background research. See, what is very important, Marcia, is the audience that you're performing to needs to have common references. So, for example, I had a question that was asked earlier about Sunny Park. Now, if I start talking about Sunny Park, everybody who's listening to this, except for that one person, will be excluded. Right. So I started giving you generic stuff about being middle class, you know, about Calcutta, which is stuff that everyone will get. So mm. for a technical audience, as long as I know they will all get it, I will do background research on their technology and create jokes and parallels. So, for example, if you get on YouTube and you Google Papa CJ Scatter, there was an organization that uh, approached me recently. They've come up with a marketing technology platform and they wanted me to write a script to market it. I created a parallel where I likened that platform to online dating and to dating itself. And suddenly, because what I find with techies is they're often very good at what they do. I mean, I'm consulting a startup right now on their pitch, which is for a technology product. But it's a product that claims to make life much simpler for the user. But their pitch is so complex. And if I'm an investor, I'm thinking, wait, you're the guys who make things simpler. Why is there so much muck? So I take their technology and I relate it to a human story in a way that is understandable and that brings the joy out of them and that helps them tell their stories as well going forward.